Hello students. We have seen the case of non-repeated linear factors occurs in the denominator. If there are two factors, then there exist two constants, and by making use of partial fraction, you can find the integration. Now here, if the factors are repeated, then how you find the integration? Example, if you have idea of taking one example then you can solve four examples you will it integration of x upon you can take x square x x plus one square into x plus 2 dx solution here numerator is x its degree is 1 and denominator is x plus 1 square into x plus 2 here the factor x plus 1 occurs 2 times so repeated factors x plus 1 2 times occurs and x plus 2 occurs 1 times both factors are linear and degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator. Therefore, partial fraction method is applicable here. By making use of partial fraction, we have by making use of partial fraction method we get what we get here x upon x plus 1 square into x plus 2. If there are two factors only, x plus 1 and x plus 2, then you write a upon x plus 1 plus b upon x plus 2. But here, these factors occur two times. So, this can be written as a upon, there, there are three factors x plus 1, x plus 1 and x plus 2, a upon x plus 1, then plus b upon x plus 1 square you can write in this way, then plus c upon x plus 2, suppose number 1, and you have to find a, b and c, values of a, b, c, you take capital a, b, c or small a, b, c. So, by your usual method, we solve this. So, LCM is x plus 1 square into x plus 2. Therefore, a into x plus 1, one factor cancel, a into x plus 1 into x plus 2. Then, plus b into x plus 1 square cancel b into x plus 2 then plus c into x plus 2 cancel x plus 1 square so left side is x upon x plus 1 square into x plus 2 on both sides denominator is set therefore denominator cancel so this can be written as x is equal to a into x plus 1 into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 2 plus c into x plus 1 square so here you have to find the values of a b c if you put x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 1 then you get one constant if you put x is equal to minus 2 you get the another constant then you find third constant. Put x is equal to minus 1 into we get x is equal to minus 1 means minus 1 is equal to a into x is equal to minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 0 therefore a into 0 plus b into minus 1 plus 2 you get value of b here plus 
Same two x is equal to minus one. Minus one plus one. Zero square. Zero. Therefore, minus one is equal to b into minus one plus two. That is one. Therefore, b is equal to minus one. Therefore, value of b is equal to minus one. <coughs> Then. Put x is equal to minus two in equation two. We get what we get minus two is equal to a into again minus two plus two zero. So a into zero plus b into minus two plus two zero. B into zero plus c. Into minus two plus one minus one and minus one square is one. Therefore, c into one. Therefore, what is the value of c? C is equal to minus two. Therefore, you obtain value of a is equal to minus one and c is equal to minus two. Now, how you obtain the another factor? So you get value of b, you get value of c. Now you have to find value of a. Now from equation two we have, from two we have, what is two? X is equal to a into. So you simplify the equation two. X into x means x square. Then plus two x. Then plus x plus two into one is two. Then plus B into x plus two, then plus c into you expand x plus one square, x square plus two x plus one. So you collect the coefficients of powers of x square, x and x. So this can be written as you collect the coefficients of x square first, x square into. Here x square a, then here x square a plus c, then plus coefficient of x. So what are the coefficients of x here? Here x, two x plus x, three x means three into a. Therefore here three a. Then here b x three a plus b b x x is common here. Then here plus two x into c. Therefore, coefficient of x is two c. So you have the coefficient of x square x and plus constants remaining constant here plus two a. Then plus two b. Then here plus two plus c. X is equal to this. Now x polynomial can be written as zero into x square plus zero x plus constant. Zero into x square means zero plus x plus constant plus zero. X square plus x plus zero. Then you equate the coefficients of x square, x and constant on both sides. We get equating coefficients of X square, x and constants on both sides. We get <coughs> so. I will need. I will cancel this. Remove this. So what do we get? So you observe. 
लेफ्ट साइड कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर इज जीरो राइट साइड ए प्लस सी सो इक्वेट इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर देयरफॉर यू गेट ए प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स लेफ्ट साइड कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स इज 1 एंड राइट साइड कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स इज 3a plus b plus 2c is equal to 1 and constant in left side zero right side 2a plus 2b plus c is equal to zero so you are taking these three equations from here but already you have the value of e b and you have the value of c now from equation 1 suppose next equation is from this equation a plus c is equal to zero therefore you have to find a a is equal to minus c but what is the value of c minus 2 minus minus 2 is equal to plus 2. therefore you get the value of a so you get value of a b c so not need to solve the many equations so you get the all constants therefore value of a is equal to Using these constants in equation one, we get what we get. So equation one is this. Therefore, x upon x plus one square into x plus two is equal to value of a is two, two upon x plus one plus value of b is minus one upon x plus one square. Plus c value of c is minus two upon x plus two. Then integrate on both sides, we get integrating on both sides. What we get? Integration of x upon x plus one square into x plus two dx is equal to two into integration of dx upon x plus one. Then minus here integration of dx upon x plus one square plus here minus two into integration of dx upon x plus two. So equal to two, and you know integration of l upon a x plus b. That is log of a x plus b l upon a. So here integration of this is the log of x plus one. Then minus dx upon x plus one square. So you know the integration of l upon r. So using that formula, what is integration of this? L is one, one upon one minus r. R is here one. R is here two. One minus two into x plus b raised to r minus one means one upon x plus one raised to two minus one. Two minus one is one minus two into. Again, integration of dx upon x plus two is log of x plus two. So you keep as it is. This is the answer. Or you can write one more step. Here two common. So this can be written as two into for log log of x plus one minus log of x plus two. Then one minus two. One minus two means minus one, and minus minus plus plus one upon x plus one. So this can be written as one upon x plus one. Then plus two into log of again proper means of logarithm x plus one upon x plus 
और अगेन दिस कैन बी रिटर्न लॉग ऑफ एक्स प्लस वन अपॉन एक्स प्लस टू स्क्वायर और कीप दिस एज इट इज सो इन दिस वे यू कैन सॉल्व द इंटीग्रेशन बाय मेकिंग यूज ऑफ पार्सल फ्रैक्शन वेर द फैक्टर्स आर रिपीटेड सो इफ हियर एक्स प्लस वन अकोर्स थ्री टाइम्स देन यू कैन राइट ए अपॉन एक्स प्लस वन प्लस बी अपॉन एक्स प्लस वन स्क्वायर प्लस सी अपॉन एक्स प्लस वन क्यूब इन दिस वे इट अकोर फोर टाइम्स फिफ टाइम्स देन फाइव कॉन्स्टेंट फोर कॉन्स्टेंट अकोर्स सो वी स्टॉप यर यू कैन सॉल्व सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स यूजिंग दिस मेथड थैंक यू